If I were to ask you where in the world you would expect to find a lion today, I think it's pretty safe to say that unless you're from India, the vast majority of people would say Africa. And you'd be mostly right. Almost all wild lions are found in Africa, other than a small population found in Gir National Park, which is here in India. And these lions that are found in India are known as Asiatic lions or Persian lions. That's our first hint that a larger story is at play here. Persia, which is also known as Iran in modern times, isn't in India. So if they're called Persian lions and they're found in India, how far did these things used to range? Check out this map, the historical range of the modern lion. It's wild. No other large land mammals have had such a large range, other than humans. Lions used to be found in Northern Africa, the Arabian Peninsula, in modern Middle Eastern countries like Iran, and as far east as India. The last live lion in Iran was spotted in 1942, so in the grand scheme of things, it's really not that long ago. Another ancient account of lions being in a place that you wouldn't expect to find them today is found in the biblical book of Daniel, the well-known Daniel in the lion's den story. So Daniel was serving in the royal court of this guy, King Darius of Babylon, and the ancient city of Babylon happens to be right here in modern day Iraq, which was firmly in lion country back in the day. Okay, let's get back to the other part of this map. This is pretty cool. Lions used to be found in the Balkans and Greece. Imagine you're just hanging out in your grain field outside of Athens and there goes a lion strolling by. Herodotus, who is an ancient historian that lived from 484 to 425 BC, mentioned lions in his account of the Greco-Persian War, which took place between 499 and 449 BC, in which the Persians, who apparently keep happening to come up in this video, invaded Greece to attack the city-states there. Herodotus says, As Xerxes marched on this route, lions attacked the camels which carried his provisions. Nightly they would come down out of their lairs and make havoc on the camels alone, seizing nothing else, man or beast of burden. I wonder what prevented the lions from touching anything but the camels, creatures which they had not seen and had no knowledge of until then. The route that the Persians followed was through Macedonia here in the year 480 BC, and apparently the Macedonian lions really like camels. In fact, lions only disappeared from Macedonia in around the 1st century AD, hundreds of years after poor Xerxes had his run-ins with them. Okay, but here's the even crazier thing about this map. See these question marks over here in Italy, France, and Spain? It's possible that modern lions once lived here too, but the evidence is inconclusive. I actually had trouble finding too much information on what this evidence might be. So if you know anything about this and could fill in some blanks, please leave a comment to discuss it. The modern lion once roamed far and wide over Africa, Asia, and Europe, but now live in only about 8% of their historic range. The African lion is currently classified as vulnerable, over the last century, the population has decreased by about 90%. The Asiatic lion, that once made its home in the Arabian Peninsula, Iran, and India, is now down to an estimated 674 individuals. One bright spot is that the population of Asiatic lions has actually been increasing in the last few years. Hopefully, the population of African lions can be stabilized in the future. If you like this content and want to see more, please consider subscribing. It would really help me out. Also, check out these other videos linked here. Thanks for watching and see you next time.